Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is The Adventures of Thomas. If you've never seen my channel, you've never heard of me, my name is Thomas. This is a completely different channel than anything I've ever done. And a lot of you are wondering why and how are you in this car? What do you do? Uh, we do podcasting clothes, do a bunch of different stuff, run six, seven businesses. It has taken 10 years to get this thing basically, but it's here. I'm super stoked guys. The full review on the 2023 V12 Maybach. All right, guys, let's start talking about the car a little bit, then we'll get into every feature, all the buttons, all that cool stuff. I gotta be honest, guys, driving, it feels like when you walk on tempur beds and stuff doesn't move, I feel like I can hold a, like a glass of wine, hit some bumps, and nothing will happen. I've hit full speed bumps and just done this. It's air shocks, so when you go over a bump, the tires go down to catch your weight like Inspector Gadget. First off, I don't know anything about this car. I only know because I had to look it up. I didn't know anything about this car. I had never sat in the car, I never seen it, I never touched the car, I just know I really wanted it. So for everyone that's new to the channel, I had the 6.3 AMG and I loved it. It was super dope and I got the opportunity to get this, so I sold that one. So that's what's going on, guys. I've had this car for now for four months. Uh, it's my daily driver. I've taken it to my hometown, which is 400 miles away. So realistically, I probably put about 5,000 miles on this car just doing my daily driver. Like I said, I'm driving all over LA. I'm going to meetings, obviously filming, doing a bunch of stuff. Yes, I go to the grocery store and this. I know a lot of people like, you're supposed to be driven in this car. I don't want somebody driving my car. Maybe on special occasions or like some weekends when I go out, with Rosie on a date or something, but other than that, I want to be driving my car. And for everyone out there, like you need to experience the back seat. Don't worry, I sit in the back seat in my garage all the time and I watch stuff and it's fun. I've had this car for four months. About a month ago, I got it wrapped. That's how you see the two-tone because Mercedes said two-tone is for celebrity clientele only and they would not let me buy it, which is crazy. Shout out to them for even giving it to me. I'm not sure I can play. Fast forward two weeks after I got the wrap, my wheels finally came in. Shout out to Bowden and my homie John. I finally got the wheels and the rims. These are brand new. They just came out from Vossen. I don't know about brands. I've heard of Forgiatos, and that's it. I didn't realize there's other top tier brands. Lawson makes these gigantic like Captain America shields, and that's what's on my car now. You guys know I'm not a car guy. The rims are 22 or 24. Putting bigger rims on your car, smaller, thinner tire, means it rides rougher. I didn't know that. I had no idea. It used to be able to drive over mountains without feeling it, and now I feel little baby speed bumps. I didn't realize that. A less tire, bigger rim, rougher ride. Makes perfect sense. I didn't think about it. I was so hot. I mean, I'm still hyped. I will trade the slightly rougher ride for how this car looks. I drive this every single day. I notice the difference right off the bat. Day one, bottomed my rims out, smacked my wheels on my fender, broke my plastic fender piece. Not the car, the underneath part, I snapped it. I didn't realize you can't go 85 over bumps anymore. It has every feature you can think of. It has a spa mode, it has a nap mode. You can lay straight down in the back. There's a lot of stuff. I, I, I don't even wanna spoil it. I'm in my 30s. Even if I was six or in my 30s, the stuff's still cool. The stuff's spinning, you can change every light in here. Stuff moves by not even touching it, just by motion. It's pretty insane. So what we'll do guys is uh, we'll go to on the street a little bit. We'll open it up just a little. It's very quiet, but we're gonna open it up just a little. There's comfort, Maybach mode. Maybach is super extra comfort, but also fast is what that means. And then right here, that's the sport mode. That's what we're gonna do. It changes everything. The car actually gets lower. So that's where all those modes are. The car will lower itself. So right now we're somewhere in Glendale. We're just trying to find a little straightaway. This is all hypothetical, but I did step on it just you know, halfway down, hypothetically going 125. Didn't even feel it. Also, this has all the safety features. It has the pop-up. I see all my stuff that's in my dash is in my windshield. It has the heads up display thing. And then right here, going down the street. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're in super sport. It takes off, man. I do a lot of like, content. My other channel is about to hit 2 million and this channel is for every single thing that's family friendly. I just want my little brother to be able to watch this. You know what I mean? He's like, you always do YouTube. Like, yeah, watch this channel. So that's what I'm trying to do guys. I'm just trying to show you stuff besides just my everyday. I definitely do not do car stuff every day. I drive my car, but we're not doing videos like that. I'm not into cars. I love the cars, but I'm not like the car head. And we also have not done the video on Rosie's car. We got Rosie the GLE 5.3, the AMG truck. It is dope. We got to do a video on it still. And then last but not least, 1986 Super Sport 
Monte Carlo. I got it completely redone. They're just redoing the interior. The paint's done. The bodywork's done. The engine is fully rebuilt. Every single hose, every bolt, every strip, every weather stripping, every plastic, every piece of rubber is redone. Every single thing is brand new. It's like it came right off the factory, guys. I'm so excited. This is a V12 car, but it's also a boat. This thing is three feet longer than my last car. I can't park in regular parking spots, which is something they don't tell you when you're trying to get it. It's as big as a lane, essentially. Oh, damn, I was 70 that fast, oh my God. Also, one other thing. This year's Maybach, the back tires shift opposite or shift with you when you merge. So what does that mean? You know how you merge, you just go whoop. This one, you crab walk essentially. You sideways slide in because the back tires move with you. Yeah, that, that's pretty awesome. All right, just real quick, guys. All right, yeah, that's that's too much. Let's go back into comfort. How about going to Maybach comfort? There we go, right here. Let's just go into the comfort, strong comfort mode. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you every single thing I found in this car. There's stuff I'm still discovering. People will DM it to me, like, have you tried this? Like, no, and then it works. I'm gonna show you every single button. I'm gonna show you every single color feature, every wild thing this car does. Let's go. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is show you every single feature that I found. I'm sure there's a lot more stuff. I've just realized a car can drive itself and park itself. I'm not gonna do that, but I didn't even know I came with a car. So I'm discovering things every day, guys. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you all this stuff in the front because the back has a lot of features. I'm just gonna show you the front stuff first, then we'll work our way back. First thing you can do, change this. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like 3D depth. It goes back, travels down. I don't know if the camera can catch it, but it's, it's very wild looking. It's almost transparent in some parts. We can do that or we can go, boom. There's classic. This is assistance. Since there's a car in front of us, it shows it. Oh. And look at right here, see the sands and the mountains? Yeah. It looks pretty wild, dude. So basically, while you're driving, everything will pop up, kind of like the Tesla thing. The only thing that's different is this has augmented reality. I'll show you that right now. Engine oil, PSI, every single thing. It shows you if you have a air leaking from a tire, it'll show you the temperature of your tire. It's pretty cool. This is sport mode. Sport mode is epic. And look at G-forces, and depending on which way you turn, it'll pull the G-forces to where you're going to let you know exactly how fast you're going. It's pretty cool, dude. Engine data has like, do you see this, Jay? It actually looks like depth. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but it, it actually goes into the screen, which is wild. Look at that. All purple, like Star Wars lights. There's depth and it, there's a wall. I, I don't think the camera's catching it. So basically this augmented reality, I'm looking at the street and in my heads up display right now, I see 25 miles per hour. A steering wheel shows me what lane I'm in. But with augmented reality, when you put in GPS, it'll show you a see-through street and where to turn with arrows. It'll show you how far, how many feet, what distance, and it'll show you what time you're gonna show up to that turn. And then again, it goes like, I don't want people tracking me. Everybody knows exactly where I'm at at Mercedes at all times, and they know exactly when I'm gonna get there, which is kind of scary, but at the same time, pretty cool. Okay. All right, so that's augmented reality, right? You click that, you put your GPS, it is insane. Watch this. It changes the background to the sand hills. All of it has hills, and when you go purple, it'll show a prism and light will shine through it, kind of like the Pink Floyd album. It'll have a prism with sh light shining through it back and forth. It's crazy. Yep, see, look at, now there's stars. There's stars and sands, and over here, when I move, it moves with me. It's very creepy. I, I really wish I could explain it better. You can zoom in all the way to the streets. Like, it'll show my car driving around. It's so crazy, then check this out. Look at the shadow on the water like Grand Theft Auto. Do you see the shine? It's the shimmer. And at night, it even has it. Look at this. This is Grand Theft Auto, where do you wanna go? Speaking of Grand Theft Auto, Franklin from Grand Theft Auto is my homie, right? He's, he's an actual person in real life, he's an actor. Franklin from Grand Theft Auto is Sean. He's really cool, right? The other day, I'm pulling up on the freeway entrance and this car just starts honking, his truck honking, honking. I'm like, all right, dude. Then he rolls down the window and it's Sean. And he's wearing a dope as usual podcast shirt. He was wearing one of our shirts that we gave him when he came on the show. It just really made every that day just epic, bro. And then we interviewed Benny the Butcher after. Some of these days, are getting unrealistic to myself. Sorry, speaking of Grand Theft Auto, let's go back here. Look at this, Jay. Oh, no way. Oh, my God. As you can see right there, 
It's showing up like Grand Theft Auto. You can see the streets. It tells you exactly where to go. It tells you how far you're going to get there, how many feet, and what time you're going to arrive. Also, depending if it has a camera, when I stop at a stoplight, my whole screen will turn into the streetlight cam. And it says traffic cam. And so you can see all the traffic coming ahead. What? What up, what up, what up? A few minutes later. All right, cool. How random. Benny the Butcher. Yo, life is getting really wild, I gotta be honest. And then this right here is where you can let it park itself, which I'm not gonna do. Because basically, if I tell everybody, yo, that mess up is I press automatic parking and the car hit, you know, the wall, they're gonna be like, fool, did you hit the wall and you're blaming it on automatic parking? And nobody will ever believe me because it's a computer. It's not supposed to mess up, but I'm not gonna take that risk. Then it has this, it's 3D, as you can see, the screen is here and then the logo still in the back. It gives it so much depth. These fools crushed it on that. So here we go, guys, this is it. Then we're gonna go back, let's go to comfort. So as you can see, there's classic, mobilizing, activating, hot, relaxing back, hot, relaxing shoulders, wave, deep wave, deep workout, workout cushion, backrest. So let's put this on. I know you guys at home can't feel it, but my entire body is shaking. These are racing chairs. This whole part, this section, and sections on the side, all of it will hug your whole body. So say I'm taking a hard right, the whole left side extends and hugs my whole entire rib cage. That way, if I'm taking off going allegedly 120 and I'm on the freeway, I will never budge. The whole thing will extend and hug you. I didn't know it had it, so it freaked me out the first time I took a turn. I thought I was tripping. Nah, the seats move and they will hug you. It's cool. So, as you can see, you have all these massages, then you go to seat. Seat, lumbar, kinetics, lumbar's right here. Basically right now, my entire seat's moving. This right here, is your back. How do you want your lumbar? You want it high? Do you want it low and out? Do you want it low and flat? Or do you need lumbar support like me? That's how I keep my seat usually. Shoulders, same exact thing. You can raise them up higher. You can raise them up lower. Side bolsters, which are the things that hug you, you can hug. Now they stay hugged or they stay loose. It's very cool. Heat settings, additional surface. This will turn hot when you put your heat seat warmer on. This whole thing will get hot for this side. That gets hot for the passenger. When you put this on, this entire piece of wood, it gets hot. I'm gonna be honest, it gets very hot. All this will start to heat heat up if you wanted to. So that's what this is for. And then right here, ambient lighting. All right, let's go to monochrome. Let's go to blue. Let's go to red. Uh, let's back to blue. And then let's go to green. Uh, white. Every single color you can actually pick. The whole car changes too. Look right here, see on the car, it'll show you which lights are changing and how bright. So that's your whole entire car system. I always leave it on the blue, just like that. This is multicolor, let's click that. Look at the different colors. Watch the speaker, everything changes color. It's very, very cool. Now all the colors change. Let's go teal. All of it's teal. It's Honestly, I know it's it doesn't do anything to the car, but it makes it fun. Let me show you the most intense part of this entire car. Energizing comfort. What do you think that means, guys? Exactly, who knows? Ready? Now let's listen. Now if you were in the car, you would know, but ready? There it goes. Every slit you see are air vents. And what does it do? It releases a scent through the entire car for different settings. Why? That is a fragrance bottle. You can replace it, it has a system, and it shoots up into the entire car. Also, look right here, the seat cooler's turned on because we picked the freshness mode. So it's gonna take and blow air and make the whole chair cold because it's on freshness. It is unbelievable. Eh, let's try something else, how about warm? Whole car turns red and all the lights change. Sounds change, lights change, automatically just turn my heated seat on. It, whoever made this car just had so much time. It's unbelievable and vitality. This one's cool, all the colors change, all vibrant. Look, it's all blue, purple, red, and then let's go to here. Joy's cool. I like this one. That's tight. Each time you change a setting, my now my chair is doing a different massage. Feel it? Feels like I'm at a spa. Well being, this is the spa one. Here we go. I'll fall asleep in here. Come on. All the lights in the entire place are purple. This is my favorite one. Trees. And listen to the birds. Ready? Woodpecker. All the lights are green, all the way around. Look at this, guys. It's like otter pop green. Ah, it's so cool. Watch this. Like crazy, huh? It's the most relaxing thing in the world. Here we go. This is super depressing, but cool. It's just a stormy day. Weird. And look at this. The color, everything just, the whole mood changes. They did a great job. Are you guys ready to, you have your mind blown? Here we go. 
Welcome to 10 minutes of muscle activation. So basically, this lady's gonna walk you through 10 minutes of how to not get stiff in every part of your body while you're driving in the car. Watch this, muscle relaxation. Welcome to 10 minutes of muscle relaxation. Fragrance, you can turn it on or off per setting, it's pretty cool. This guy's voice is cool, I think that's why I like it. We all do our best every day <laughs> in our professional and private lives. Just relax. That, that will feel good. good. I've listened to this so many times. This car is more than the car. Yeah, it drives. You know how iPhones are like, it's more than a phone. It does everything. By the way, it calls. Oh yeah, by the way, it drives too. It's like a, a, a apartment on wheels. We haven't even been in the back seat yet. The back seat is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Ready? You don't even notice it's there. Ready? There is a privacy curtain. Do you see it moving? That is awesome, right? Pretty sick. The whole top is glass, which is scary all right i think as far as the front seat that that might be it guys let's do the other half of this video let's hop in the back seat and i'm gonna show you some unbelievable things so guys we are in the back of this car i have sat in this thing many times in my garage and just chilled one time me and rosie uh went to lunch and we we're like let's just chill in the back seat and hung out we sit in here and watched a movie it was cool i'm gonna show you the coolest thing about this seat it's gonna go all up and then the head's gonna go down so I can still see the traffic. Isn't that crazy? You just lean back. Look at my legs. It's a footrest. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm seven feet from the steering wheel back here. It's pretty cool. You can fall asleep pretty fast back here. Okay, I'm gonna show you everything really fast, all right? Because I know you guys have been sitting in this video for a long time. I'm gonna show you all the features. First off, you have headphones right here. They're noise canceling. It connects to this TV. So basically, you can get on the internet, you can get on Netflix, you can get on everything, you can play video games. And if you're like, yo, you wanna watch this? You slide the screen like this, and it'll jump over into this TV. Or you can throw it to the driver. Very unnecessary, but very cool. I can't hear myself talk. I don't know if I'm super loud because they're noise canceling, but yes, pretty cool. Ready? You see this privacy screen? Watch this. Watch how it goes away. Just in case you missed it, watch this. It disappears. How awesome is that? Let me show you guys something. What I meant earlier, why this a lot of stuff is motion censored. So if I'm in the front seat, since it's not nighttime, I couldn't show you. If I reach to my passenger seat, the lights go on in the front because it thinks I'm reaching for something. Usually I'm just putting my arm down and the lights go on. All you do is this. Touch and it'll go off. You see how this panoramic thing's open? Watch how you close it. Ready? Here's a sensor. Stop. Go back. I never felt more like a wizard in my life. Didn't know it did that for two months. I'm on TikTok watching a video and some guy does it. I'm like, yeah, right. Go to my garage and it works. So as we can see, door opens, stop, close. Insane, press this. This entire thing opens up. It stays hot or cold depending on what you want. So right here it has air settings, everything. You can set all your stuff, hot and cold, phone holder, and then you can just close it back up. It's pretty cool. I like that it disappears and you just always don't see cup holders. That is very cool. Also in this car, something I think is very wild, PPM. It'll let you know if your air quality is not good. Without going too deep, I may or may have boxed it in here. And when I did, it said danger, danger. And it kept blinking 90, 90, 90. And it said get out of the car, which I thought was hilarious. It essentially thought the car was on fire. Heat, cold, this moves the seat forward, back, lays flat, goes up. One, two, M, so you can set your seat. You can do lumbar, height, depth, uh, the bolsters and heat, you can set it. So every time you get in, you go, wait, it's cold today. Cold is number two. Oh, it's hot. Setting number one is hot. And then that's when you get the cold chair or you get the hot chair or massage, or you can press nap mode and all of this turns off. Everything goes silent. And that's it. This is the Manufactor edition. It's like a special edition. I don't know. I had no idea I was getting a special edition. It, it didn't come with a fridge. It's supposed to come with a fridge and I didn't get it. I, I know it sounds like first world problems. I get it. But like I was really looking forward to putting other stuff in the fridge. And back here, you go straight into the trunk because the fridge goes into the trunk. So this isn't here, but right here, some glasses holders and or a gun rack. And uh, yeah, there's that. There's that. Close that up. Put my little mascots back. Boom. Watch this. So right here, you have a charger pad, you have all your extensions, your outlets, all the stuff. I laptop on this thing and it, it saves the day. Ready? Guys, 
It's like being in a first class cabin. It's very, very odd. It's got everything you could possibly think of. Look at this. Typing, typing, typing. This is the typing table. Watch, look at it. And then, and you type your whole essay on this. It's pretty incredible. This thing is very cool. I think it is the coolest thing ever. It's a tray. This, this is cool, man. I just, I think it's pretty awesome. You flip it back, go up, go straight in. This person has one also. And like I said, it has a charger pad, which is super handy because I use it a lot. Each seat back here comes with a pillow. I know it's just a pillow. I get it. The emblems in it. It makes me take care of everything. And if there's anything that has a mark or anything on it, it's not me. I haven't been in this back seat yet. I saw a little smudge there. That's not me. Don't appreciate that very much. I I'm Danny Tanner when it comes to being clean. I'm very OCD with clean stuff. As you can see, my car is a daily driver and it looks like I just got it. It is spotless. I get it detailed every single week. It's an expensive car. I worked hard for it. I am not gonna let it look dumb. It, there's no way you're gonna see some dirt on here without me going, gotta get it clean. That's me, okay? If you see some dirt on my car, I've been out of town. What is this thing? The control center. So this is the control center. As you can see, this screen is on. That's the left side person's control. Left control right control. Let's control the right side. You can touch screen this, you can do whatever you want, or you can go on the screen. So you can do media, maps, navigation. Hey driver, I want to go I don't know, here, there, you can do that. And by driver, I mean me. Hey me, let's go here, throw the address in. And you go to media, change all the music. That's how you control everything. You can go right here. I just didn't connect my phone and obviously you cannot play music on YouTube. All right, here we go. You can go to Mercedes store, apps, there's video games in here. So you have massage, you have seat, just like earlier, you can do all the lumbar support, this stuff. Oh, that's why my back feels weird. There we go. Ambient light you can do the same thing touch of a button or we can go here and then you can change that see it'll show you blues there and reds at the bottom just like right there pretty awesome guys like it's very cool like i said that's my favorite one right there we're gonna leave it there adaptive right light seating you can work light zone light so say you're on your computer and you need to get work done bust your laptop out on this tray you can do the adaptive light and that makes sure it doesn't bug everybody else and then right here energizing comfort. Just like up, up there, watch. Except it throws it to all the screens. So this will play, the front will play, this will play, and the other seat. So back here, you control the whole car. The driver can only control the front stuff. The back seat, per you smell it? Oh, it's way stronger back here. We can do all these, except the back has this. Power nap. See, refreshing your nap, seats, windows, and everything positioned automatically. It's all positioning out so I can lay down. It goes to the stars. Everything's just like midnight blue, kind of like nighttime. It's pretty cool, man. I love it. And I know there's a lot of people out there that love cars, car enthusiasts. They've never seen our channel. They're watching the show like, why is this fat kid just smiling and saying, this is cool? Because it's tight. You may know how many horsepower my car has. I don't. I know how fast it goes because I drive it. Other than that, don't be a jerk. Let me enjoy my, my car, all right? I think it's awesome. There's only four of these in America. My next door neighbor just got one. The same year, same everything, same color. I drove by and he was looking at me like, what? Exactly what I said, like how? My neighbor, there's only four in this country and my next door neighbor happens to have one. Coolest thing I could have thought of. All right guys, basically I'm gonna play music and when the car speakers are not on and then you play music, this is what the speakers do. Yo, unnecessary, no reason and I love it. It's cool, every single speaker does it. Look how much room is in here. This car's big, man, like I can stand up, smack my homie, come back, sit down, you can't do nothing about it. So why when I move my head, look at the little window behind my head. It has its own shade. I thought that was very cool. We'll put this down to so get some more light in here. That was everything, guys. That was the, the 2023 V12 Maybach Manufacture Edition. I don't know what that means. I looked it up. It's some special edition. I don't know if they were supposed to give me that one. I got this car at Sticker. I got a hookup at Mercedes. Mercedes loves me for some reason, and they, they let me have this car. And I wasn't supposed to be able to get this car, let alone the special edition Manufacture one. Thank you so much. I, I My first car I ever had was a Dodge Intrepid, and I bought it for, for 12 or 1400 bucks illegally in Portland on 182nd Street with my little brother Martin and I drove it back with my sister at 14 from Portland, Oregon to Merced. 11 hour trip. Me and my sister drove back. I had no license but it was awesome. I loved that car. I did jumps in that car on my grandma's property. Even when I had that car I was delivering pizza. I passed by a 1994 white E-Class. I think it was an E-Class Mercedes and I wanted to buy it. The guy was trying to scam me but I remember looking at it go, I'm not going to buy it. But I remember as I drive away I'm like one day I'm going to get one of those cars man. Like I'm going to get one of these cars 
cars one day. It took a long time. It took 10 years to get that car, but it was worth it. I got the AMG a couple years ago, loved it. It was everything to me. I love it, got rid of it because I got the opportunity to get this. This thing, I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible. This thing attracts eyes of all ages. There'll be four-year-olds staring at my car and 94-year-olds staring at my car. As we're speaking, one, two, three, four, five, five of these dudes will not stop looking at the car. They're all just staring at us as we're filming this. That's what comes with this car, man. Fools will stare and the number one thing every single young dude asks me, what do you do? What, what do you do for work? The first thing, this car, I have given 3,000 consultations to strangers. I will take 10 minutes of my day just to break it down for somebody on how to get it done and I hope it works, bro. And not even all young dudes. A lot of dudes way older than me ask me, bro, it just takes time. And for everyone out there that's never seen our channel, this is not like overnight anything. I came from no money. So this took a long time to get. I'm very excited. Every time I jump out of this thing and I'm wearing like Vans and a push tree shirt, fools look at me sideways. And then they're like, oh, he must be a driver. I'm like, I am the driver, but I'm also the owner, sir. It's a very odd feeling, guys. I get more dirty looks than... I get a lot of dirty looks from older men. A lot of older fools look at me and just roll their eyes at me as if my dad bought it for me. I love the car. I don't see myself not ever having one for the rest of my life. When the next one comes out, I'll probably get that one. I gotta be honest, Rosie's car, we're having a lot of fun with it. We have fully decided as soon as she's not having fun with it, Maybach truck. It's too cool. It's so fun. Why not? But yeah, guys, as I said, like it's not just like, Let's go get a Maybach truck. Bro, I gotta work. I work 18 hours a day. You know what I mean? Don't just look at me like I'm just sitting here like, Give me a Lambo. It doesn't work that way. Things don't work unless you work, all right? I own six businesses and I work all day. So here we go. As soon as this video's over, we're doing another video. And as soon as that's done, I'm dropping something off in Beverly Hills. As soon as that's done, I gotta go home. Then tomorrow I gotta do it all again. I appreciate you guys. It couldn't be more fun. I'd rather be super tired, super busy in this car than in my Honda. And not a materialistic thing. It's a, damn, you, you're doing a good job, man. Good job. That's how I feel when I get in like 17 year old you is crying of happiness right now. There's just a lot of people that aren't, aren't, aren't here no more. Like I passed away my homies that I wish could see this. Like there's a few people that I wish could be like, bro, look. Like my uncle John, man, he'd be the ultimate fool. Now, not to get off topic, but thank you guys. This is everything. It's the coolest thing ever. I love it. So thank you so much. This has been the Adventures of Thomas channel, the full review on the 2023 V12 Maybach. S680, for everyone out there asking, it's the S680 Maybach. And I know I said Maybach and Maybach 72 times differently. It's because sometimes I remember how to pronounce it and sometimes I don't care. So this is a Maybach video. All right, guys, thank you so much. This has been the Adventures of Thomas channel. Whole new way of filming. I'm gonna put out a lot more content. Probably film a lot of it myself so I can be, just be talking to you guys, pump out videos. If you're a fan that's already been here, leave a comment. What do you wanna see from this channel? If you're a car person and you've never been here, what do you wanna see me do with this car? Do you want like the night run, the desert run, the Malibu, PCH? We can do all this stuff. We got the drones, we got everything. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, 2023's S680, Mercedes Maybach. Thank you so much for making it possible. Shocks me every day that I get in this car, even holding this steering where right now is insane to me. Thank you guys so much. Leave a like, subscribe, notification, all that fun stuff. I appreciate it. If you've ever left a like, high five me at the store, bought a shirt, watched a video, you helped me do this. I'm genuinely saying you helped me do this. So thank you so much for everything. Thank you for making this possible. Much more to come, guys. Until next time, I'm Dobaziola. Have a dope day. I have no tint, so this really doesn't do much. <laughs>